Hi, this video is an overview of the Asus EPC 10000H. It comes with a 1.6 GHz add-on processor, uh, an 80 GB drive, 1 GB memory, and uh, there's three USB ports. There's one over here, there's the network connection, another two on this side, and there's the connection to connect to a bigger monitor. Now, I'm a computer programmer, and I really hope that once I got this machine, I'd be able to run some of the popular software development tools like Microsoft Visual Studio and SQL Server and so on. And uh, to my surprise, it ran very well. I did get a memory upgrade from 1 gigabyte to 2 gigabytes, and it, that's very easy to do. You just remove these two tiny screws right here, the hard drive will be right here, and the memory somewhere around here. So that was very easy. Now the display is nice and bright. The native display is 1024 by 600. Now you can also run it at 1024 by 768, in which case it tries to sort of simulate the bigger display, but it will make the computer run a little bit slower and it will not look as sharp. So, but I don't have any problems running it at 1024 by 600, so that's how I run it. Uh, but once you connect it to an LCD, I'm just gonna switch so that it uses the external monitor and now we'll be over here actually while that's loading you'll hear a lot of people complaining about the the shift key on the keyboard here's the right shift key a lot of times you'll end up just hitting the up arrow but you can use some software that can remap that for you and the keyboard is nice and big so here we are uh, if you click on this little utility right now it's showing at 1024 by 768 but you can click here CRT native mode and it will recognize what your monitor's capabilities are and, and now it's running at 1680 by 1050 so if you are a computer programmer like myself and you're concerned about whether you'll be able to actually use this to develop software and so I just briefly want to run here's Microsoft SQL Server 2008 it loads pretty fast. I did cheat a little because I, I ran it a little while ago, so it's somewhat cached. And while well, that connects to that database, and here's also Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. So let me just open up this small project. So run, this is a small application that just connects to the local database and fetches about a thousand records. See, so that didn't take too long. And I will also do the same thing with a website. Here's a website that just displays the same information from the database, about a thousand records. There you go. So as one can see, if you are curious as to whether you'll actually be able to use this for software development, you can definitely use it to do so. And the last thing I want to show performance wise, we'll just go to the Netflix website and we'll stream live one of their movies. Uh, if you have a Netflix membership where you pay, I think about maybe a little less than $9 a month, you can actually stream about 50,000 movies that they have and it's a pretty good deal. I'll pause this for a second while this is setting up. Any question okay. his capacity to so here we're back streaming a Netflix movie. Alright, so there you have it. That's the EPC 10000H. Very pleased with it. The last thing I want to mention is to check out Economics, the Social Order, and the Ron Paul Revolution from Amazon.com.